All right, are you guys ready for some bar? Let's do this. My name's Jenny, and this is lovingly provided to you by the YMCA. And that's all you need to know. It's really probably more than you need to know, but because you know where you're at. In your casa, I assume. All right, heels in, toes out, big inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, just really reach through those arms. Use your breath, take up space. Good, nice and big. Just find some buoyancy in those knees. Really breathe through those fingers. Use your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you realize you haven't been breathing all morning, concentrating too hard, sleeping so hard, whatever you've been doing. Oh, but the time. Wake up your body. Here we go. Woo! Yes. Oh, it just feels so good. Just kind of getting loose. And already a little exhausted in those arms. Life is good. Keep going. Nice. Two more. All right. Feet are hip width. Inhale up. Exhale over. Bend one knee, bend the other. Halfway lift and pull. Good. Roll up. Four, three, two. Good. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Bend one, bend the other. Bend both. Roll. Uh, uh, nice. Here we go again. Inhale. And take it down. Bend one, bend the other. Bend both. Roll. Roll. Awesome. Shoulders at the top. Here we go. And up. And pull. Bending one. Bending the other. Bend both. Roll it. Nice. Good. Again. Here we go. Up. And down. Bending one. Bending the other. Good. Flat back here. Fold. Roll up. Four. Three. Two. Find your friends. Here we go. Bend. Really coming, working through those feet, waking up those feet, warming them up. Nice and tall. Got it? Up and down, adding those arms. Just working through those feet. Good. Keep it going. Flash dance style. Ready? Here we go. So a little pull on up. It's almost like you're running, but my feet aren't actually leaving the ground here. They can kind of leave the ground. You can kind of point your toes. Good. Kind of get your heart rate up a little bit. Kind of working through. If you're like kind of achy or stiff, you've been still for a long time. Maybe you haven't been, but. Good. Point your toes as you lift off the ground. Point, 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 point. You can go as fast or slow as you want. Good. All right. Walk up to the top of your mat. Reach back and forward. Good. Reach up and back and forward. Up and back and forward. Up and back. Good. Up and forward. Up and forward. And again. Up and forward. 
All right, lean forward, tap behind you. I just like to keep my hands here. If you wanna hold on to your bar, by all means. Otherwise, work on your balance. Lift and tap, lift and tap. Point your toe. Real big bend in this front knee, yeah? Belly button in. Good. All right, so hands on your bar. We're running arms. Here we go. Pull your knees in and back. 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 Good. A little faster. You can always not be holding on if you're nowhere near your bar right now. No big deal. Woo! Leave it up. Pulse is. If you want, you can come in almost like a warrior three right here. Working on your balance. So if you are near your bar, try to just have fingertips on. Try not to really use your hands. Good. Let it go. Woo! Excellent. So this is kind of like if you were in like a cardio class, would be considered skiing, but it's bar class, so we don't consider it skiing called curtsy lunges. So it looks a little different. Take your toes behind you. Don't worry, we'll get to the other side in a minute. You're gonna tap down. Now remember, if you won't, don't want to go all the way to the ground, you're gonna come right here. Just be right here on that front leg. Okay. Otherwise, tap down. Extend back. Arms go wide, other one behind you. Tap down, extend out, side, got it? Tap, extend, good. Side, behind you. Good, keep going. Really bend into those knees, really extend out through that body. If you want to make it extra dancey, what you can do is you can add a little leap here, yes, to the side. Yes. If you prefer to not leave the ground, no big deal. It's essentially the same pace, yeah? Good breeze. But if you want to be a little extra, there you go. build some of those fast twitch muscles. So if you want to add it in, it also will help up your cardio a little bit. But if you want to stay grounded, I do not blame you one bit. Oh, good. Really bend in, don't just lean forward. Reach out through those arms, nice. Or you can begin to kind of pick your knees up a little bit more. 
or speed it up rather. <laughs> Remember, your feet don't ever have to leave the ground. You can just arch through that foot. Good. Let it go. They should be really little and like not really intact though, yes? If you're like running, I mean, that's a little different, right? Your feet are like barely leaving the ground. Cool. Good. All right. Make sure that you're just near. It might be nice to just be near it in case you want it. But if you like don't even want the temptation of using it, then you can back away as much as you want. Okay. All right, take that leg behind you. Oh, we have our lean back. Here we go. All right, step back. And up. So you're just gonna put a nice bend in that front leg. It'll straighten again. And you can stay lifted off your back heel. That'll really engage your quad. But if you want the stability and it feels better, put that back heel down. Yes, up to you. I prefer to keep it up. And if it just goes down by itself, that's fine. Let your body do what it needs. If you're really, if you get like really um, wobbly doing this, Look forward the whole time. If you want to challenge your balance, let your hands follow, let your eyes follow your hands. Yeah. Good, almost there. One more. So it should be your front leg that's back now, yes? Hands at your heart. You can drop the palm line down or you can tap your fingers on up to you. Pulse is up, not pulse, it's lifting up. So hips are still facing the ground. Toes are facing down. So we're not to the side. Very down. Belly button in. Three. Okay, keep going. Good. Bring your knee in. Extend. Knee in. Extend. Now remember, if you want, knee can come in. You can tap it on the ground, yeah? Or extend it out behind you. Good. In and out. In and out. Nice bend in that front knee still, yeah? Double time. Here we go. Good. Breathe. You got it. Find your balance. Find a nice bend in your front knee. Really load up that leg. Woo! Don't fall over. You got it. Almost it. Awesome. Here we go. Up and up. Good. If you don't need the chair, don't use it. Try to keep a nice bend in your front leg. If you want, you can also hang out on your front leg. Also, here we go. If you can, warrior three, just pull that leg up. And if you need to, the bar's right there. Woo, let it go. Woo, oh, the booty. All right, there it is. All right, here we go. Back to our ski ballet style, yes. So take that leg behind you for your crispy lunge. Bend both knees, tap the ground, or be just bend and be right here, yeah? Extend up, out to the side, switch. Then both, really extend. This should feel just like really nice. Yeah, especially if you use your breath. Exhale, inhale. So exhale as you crunch everything down, right? Squeezing that air out. Inhale as you expand, making room for your breath. Good. 
Good, going side to side. Remember, if you want, you can add that little leap. And again, even if you're leaping, you shouldn't be that far off the ground. So it shouldn't be that much impact. I'm high, I'm high impact. I'm really big on making bar low impact or no impact because you do enough other things that are high impact, right? Like your life. So let's be nice to your joints. Save them so that they are still serving you and you're like ancient. Or at least until you die. That's what really matters, right? You just want to enjoy those joints for your entire life, however long that is. I say that because I really hope I'm not ancient one day. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind when I get older. But they're like, you could lift a hundred. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> that seems like a lot of things to remember when I'm hundred. He's like, do you remember that one time? And I'm like. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you still bending your knees? Not just your chest? You can even think about keeping your chest lifted. It might help you get your butt down. Nice. A few more of those, you got it. One more time. Oh, so nice. Yes. So if you should take a dance break and just kind of like work through our hips. You can take a dance break. This is why I miss being in person. I love watching our dance breaks happen. They just look different on everybody. <laughs> Good. It gives me ideas for like what mine could be, you know? Yeah. All right, here we go. Find your bar. I'm like just walking up to my bar. Find your bar. Good. Take those feet a little bit away. Up on your toes. Nice long line. So don't stick your butt out. Try to pull it in. So you can even squeeze your bum. That'll help you keep it in line. Push up. Good. Keep it going. You don't have to go at my pace, straight. You can go whatever pace you want. You're trying to get depth here. So don't shortchange yourself just to go as fast as I'm going. One more. Good. All right, walk it up. All right, knee up, point your toe, and then try to get your knees so that it's just level with your hips, yeah? So you can be down here, but you don't want to be higher, right? Because that's where we're going eventually. All right, just begin to tap. So notice how my front leg is actually by my leg. I'm not tapping into my leg. I'm just tapping straight back. So my hips are, you can try to do it without balance, but I'm not suggesting it. Little beats, just as fast as you can. This is really great for your brain. Good, you got it. Ooh, right there. Yeah. I'm ready for it. I really need this this part to go away, right? You'd be surprised what you can store back there. I'm sure you're not surprised. All right, hold this. Hold. So you're trying to get that knee higher. So if you started here, you're trying to get your knee level with your hips. If you started level with your hips, really pull it up into your chest. Be nice and tall for this one. I've been on this quad kick lately to just annihilate my quad. I don't know why, but I recently discovered all the ways I can do this myself. So it's when you guys come in. Remember, you can always comment if there's like certain things you hate or you love or more like you notice some area that you want gone or stronger. Just let me know. I'm happy to work it in. Otherwise, you are at the mercy of my imagination. <laughs> but 
but I got a lot of tools in the tool belt, so we can definitely work it all out, yeah? Good, all right, take it to the side, pulses. So you're not actually tapping your leg, right? You're just covering out to the side. I know, you know exactly what this means, but we're gonna go up and down on the side. Just embrace it now. I'm having to also mentally embrace that fast of my life. Thank you. Good, so remember, you can have both hands on your bar. I'm just turning the side so that you can see better. I would just prefer you have both hands on your bar because then you can really work to drop both those shoulders down. Even weight in your hands. And it'll help you keep even weight in your legs so you don't end up compensating, yeah? Good. Now that we've got that little speech here, right? Oh, pulses. So remember, if, you, if you've been beating, beating, if you've been tapping down here, maybe you're just trying to get a hip height. Yeah? Just eyeball that thing. But if you started with your beats up here, I'm sorry, but you gotta get that leg up higher, yeah? Oh, man. I'm regretting it too. It's okay. Thank just think, pull, 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 pull. All right. Woo! Yikes. Shake that out. We're going to go straight to the other side since we're facing our bar. So bring that other foot up and then begin those little, little pulses. Yes? Push your toe. So remember, option, you can be down here closer to your ankle. Have that kind of nice, beautiful slope going on. Or be up here. Nice. Be nice and tall. If you want to work on your balance, by all means. But try to keep your arms even. So like, for this, normally we would have one arm up. And this is the actual position of it. But I really want you to focus on keeping everything even in your upper body today. Okay? Good, breathe. Thank you for being a Thank you for being a Good, pause this. Oh, Thank you for just remind you, I'm really glad that you're here. The more you come or even just sign in, then the more of these classes we can put out. Yeah? So really take advantage of that. Like I said, you can all always comment and things that you want and we'll work them in. So this, I'm here for you. I work out plenty in my free time. That's a lie, but I'm so here for you. So you just let me know what you want and we will totally get it in. Cool. All right, off to the side, little taps. Remember these guys? Yeah, you're holding on to your bar. Not like those fingers, but. Hold on. You don't need to see my knee. Fine, I'll turn. Okay, but you hold on. Both hands. Roll your shoulders back. Collarbones are lifted. You're nice and lifted. You're nice and tall. Good. We're not dumping in this hip, right? Pull everything up. That's why you're holding on. Good. Breathe. All right, Paul says, here we go. Oh, just tell yourself, just be like, I'm going each time. Use your gumption each time. Nice. You got it. Put your toes up. Yeah. Think higher. Can you get it higher than your hip? Yes, you can. I believe in you, 100%. Good, let it go. Woo! All right, so we're going to take those kind of spider things. We do this on the ground sometimes. It's much easier at the bar. So we're going to do it at the bar today. Hands can be on or elbow or forearms on. It's up to you. You're going to find a decently flat back as if you're on the ground. Take that leg behind you. Bend your knee. So my hip is now open to the side. Did you see this? And then you take it up and back. So pretend you have your little stuffed animal friend in the crack of your knee, which you can totally put a pillow or a towel or a stuffed animal there if you want. And you're trying to get that knee up. It's just like one nice long line. Try to get it up towards your shoulder, yeah? Belly button in, you got it. Thank you. 
If your if your hips kind of popping, that's pretty normal. Don't worry about it. You're not hurting yourself. For the record. Here we go. False. So my knee, my leg is kind of staying right here and it's just the bottom half moving. Yeah? You feel it out. Oh, there's so many places that you're getting this. Yeah, go as fast. You can bend that knee as much as you need to. Good. Lift, 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 lift. So think about lifting your ankle up. So your knee might sag a little bit, that's fine. Ankle up towards the sky. Belly button still in, that protects your low back. Ooh, good, let it go, that was tasty. Should we just go to the other side? Are you guys content with that? Just means you won't see my leg as strongly, yeah? So, if you're leaning over, make that nice shape with your leg that you're gonna keep that whole time, yeah? So you're on your bar, and you're trying to send that knee to your shoulder, yeah? You're doing it on the countertop. I'm feeling you right now. But try to have both hands or both forearms on. Okay, breathe. How's that belly button? Is it in your spine? Think knee to shoulder each time. Think about it. Have goals. It may never reach it, but it'll definitely keep you reaching for it, right? All right, take it to the back. Little pulses. And this, this part stays relatively static or still. It's not really still, but static. And then you're just kind of being that ankle in towards the back, but you're never touching. You can go as fast as you want. It's kind of hard for the, the brain to get around. Good, and then and extend, and in. Extend, and in. Pulse is up. Good, pulse, 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 pulse. Ooh, let it go. Excellent. Ooh, roll out the shoulders. You can kind of work into your hips as much as you need to. Good. All right. We're going to work on some feet articulation here. I'm working on our calves. So up on your toes. Bend your knees. Really stretching through your toes. You can do this because you're holding on. Heels lower. Really stretching out your Achilles when you keep those knees bent. Stand all the way up. Squeeze everything. Keep it squeezed as you lift up. Bend your knees. Drop your heel. Squeeze. And keep squeezing. Bend your knees. Heels down. Oh, it kind of feels really good to go slow. You can really get into it. Sometimes when we speed it up, we kind of shorten our movement. Ah. But just slowing it down here for a minute, really articulating. Thinking that actually a lot of bar classes, there's like a whole section of stretch, which we don't do a ton of. So think of this as your active stretch right now. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, down, heels, straighten, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Ooh, are you really feeling it? Nice and juicy is what I call this kind of stuff. Of course, it's going to get more complicated, right? You haven't been around the block enough time to see. All right, stay here. 
heel drop and lift. Ooh, yeah. Keep that knee bent. Roll your shoulders back. Belly button still in. Don't be like right here. It's not that hard. You got it. Try to keep your knees wet. Try to keep your butt low. Uh-huh. There it goes. Getting real. Try to keep it nice and low. If you need to come up, you got to come up. But otherwise, notice when you, when you start creeping up, bring yourself back down. Keep going. Two nauseam on this day. No death grips, please. How do I know when you're doing these things? Because I do these things. And I gotta remind myself all the time. So I'm just reminding you while I'm at. Good. Woo! Stand up. I keep wawa. Rough days. Look good days, yeah. All right. Let's get the back of you. So a lot of quads, a lot of calves. Let's go ahead and go back to this guy, yeah? Here we go. Lean over to your foot. So just, just feel it because I know you don't have a like, or if you have a mirror, check it out. Kind of keep your get your body in parallel like this. Heel pulses towards the ceiling. Heel up. Belly button in. All right, so you know how that knee is right behind you? Can you take it out to the side? Still swinging down? Oh. So it's just at that diagonal. No big deal. You got it. How's that pulsing coming? All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, take it five. Four, three, two, one, take it back. Four, three, two, one, five. Four, three, two, one more set of those. Go. Four, three, two, take it five. Here we go. Four, three, two, oh, let it go. Yeah, yeah. It's like right underneath, like right there. Ooh. Some good stuff. All right. Next side, shall we? All right. <clears throat> Heels towards the sky. Pulses. Knee pulses. I feel like I don't understand what you just did. Okay. So this is me from a standing up view. Right now we're pulsing like this, right? Yeah. The difference that I just did, you go with this diagonal. My leg is still flush with the ground. For you, it's going to be the ground. And you're just pulsing with your legs with that slight open. Yeah. And then we went back and forth. Please tell me that you're still pulsing straight up though. I was just me demoing for you where we're going. Breathe. Breathe. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Who knows why it hates me? We'll find out. Good. All right. Take it out to that side angle. Just sit in that diagonal. Keep pulsing. Don't eat your chair like I'm about to do, but really bring your um, your belly button in towards your spine like I always tell you to do. Good. Breathe. I don't know. It just hates me, technology. All right, and then bring it back. Good. And then take it out to the diagonal. Oh, try to get your heel up more towards the sky. Good, and back. Two, three, four, to the side. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, diagonal. Two, three, four, you got it, back. Two, three, four, to the angle. Two, three, four, last time. 
two, three, four, and angle. Team, three, four. Oh, yes. All right. Stretch out your back. Take your hands back to your bar. Find a nice long back. Just let your chest sink through. Breathe. <sighs> they can be dramatic. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Good. And then if you know you're already going to get lightheaded, you can take your hands just down to maybe the bench, or you can let them stay on your thighs and just keep your head above water. Otherwise, forward fold all the way. Let, look towards your knees instead of at the ground. So you really let the weight of your head take you down. And then bend your knees generously so that your tummy comes onto your thighs, stretching out your low back. Just take those deep breaths. Remember, bar incorporates yoga, Pilates, actual ballet bar. So embrace these things. And then roll yourself all the way up. Excellent. Oh, so good. All right. Well, now you should have a little bit of a head rush. That's fine. Let yourself come to. If you need to grab some water, do that. We're going to make our way down to your mat. Yeah. Sorry, our music is acting up. That's my actual music. Refreshing, I think. Give me five seconds. We'll fix this. No, that wasn't too hard. It just needs my full attention sometimes. All right. Make sure you your bum. Roll your shoulders back. Good. Hands up. Just pulses. I'm going to turn around for us. So you can see where you're at. Good. Find a nice lean back. Option, you can have your hands behind you to keep your, your back nice and straight. Or if you don't need them, you can just keep them out. Lift and tap. So my heels are off the ground. And my toes are just lightly on the ground. So remember, you can always have your hands right here. Good. And you can even connect your knees. So you try to keep them in a line, right? So sometimes when we do this, our legs come down. You want to try to keep your knee in a line. Okay. Nice one. Sign up your back. It's hard. Just hang on to your legs. No shame in the game. You ready to add on yet? Here we go. All right, so if this is my front leg, I'm going to go over to the side. Nice ballet arms here. And up. Over to the side. And up. Over. And up. Good. All right, take your feet out a little bit wider. So we got that motion down. Take your feet out a little bit longer. Heels are still off the ground. Good. You're going to sit up tall and then lean back. Yes? Sit tall. Lean back. This should actually give you a little bit of a reach in your back. Good. You got it. You got it. Remember, when I put these layers on, you can always be at that first layer, yeah? Good. All right. Come back to center. Bring those feet back in. Yeah. Good. Again, you can hang on or you can be out like this. Take one leg, down and up. Woo! This is so much on the ground. Now, if you need to, hands can be behind you. That's what you be flat on the ground. Next to it. Otherwise, oh, man. Oh, it's a good trip. Pretty fast. Woo, let it go. Feet together. Nice and tall. Let your knees fall open at the side. Good. All right. Knees back up. Roll 
slowly, slowly. So you have to find that knee, back leg, up and down. So you're trying to get your knee back in line with your other knee, yeah? That's how high you want it. Again, toes can be on the ground, heel off. If you need the stability, but I just sit on the ground, up to you. And then a few more, you got it. Remember, option, you can always have your hands back here. Hand behind, or out in front, wherever you are. Good, all right. Build your feet together, put nice and tall, and fold over. Squeeze your bum. 
Or lift with your quads, whatever you want to do. Up and down. Up and down. Up and hold. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Five. Higher. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Good. 
turn to face our leg, right? Cool, breathe. Good, and then you can take the hand up, turn to face your leg, and fold over it. Nice, good way to stretch out your low back as well. And you can always point or flex your foot in ballet. We point our foot in yoga, you flex it. Why do you point it in ballet? It keeps you, it gets you in that habit and that ability to continue to point your toe. You'll see some people, their, their point is more like here. And some people they'll point and they're like, toes touch the ground. So it's just, it's just training your feet to be in point all the time. But you actually, you get a better stretch if you're like here. But if you wanna get that dancer body and like grace and ease, just point your foot. You'll also be able to stretch further because you're not this flexing your feet towards your face really lengthens that muscle. And so that's why you get a bit of a stretch doing it. So if you ever want to look like you're really, you know, more flexible than you are, point your toes whenever you fold over because it just shortens those muscles. So you can stretch further. Now you know. Okay, great. Point your toes or flex your feet. You can pick yourself up and kind of like tilt your hips forward if you tend to be one of these people who are back here. You can also leave your hands behind you and just press yourself forward. Feel free to stay here or walk those hands down. Maybe you walk your body down, whatever is available to you. And I don't care if you point or flex, but please do one or the other. Keep your feet engaged. There's lots of muscles in your feet. And so by keeping your feet engaged, you're engaging those muscles. And you're less likely to get those foot cramps in the long run and your feet to be tired. Good, all right, let's go ahead and find a twist. 
So take your legs out nice and long on your mat or wherever. Good, bring one leg up. And we're gonna twist towards your leg for this, yes? So feel free, stay here. Stack it and stay here, keeping this foot plane on the ground. If you want full, you're gonna take that leg back. Make sure you're not sitting on it. And then turn towards your leg, nice long spine. And we do a lot for your hips and your butt in bar. So I suggest you just cradle that leg in your elbow pit. But if you want more of the twist through your spine, you can always hook your arm on the outside, right? Good. Release, and if you're in this cute little pose, you just lean back and do this nice little switch, switcheroo. If you weren't, and your leg is out here, and you're just gonna switch them. And if you want, you can fold it in. Good. And then to really stretch out my bum, I really like to just hang on with my arm to pull it closer to me. This helps me. But sometimes, well, when you can like press into yourself to kind of like any extra you got going on, just sometimes you got to lean back a little bit to fix it. And then you can press in your back hand, get nice and tall. This might be the deeper stretch. So just know if you tend to slump in your back and they're like holding on for dear life, put that hand down. This is actually the position, the full expression of the pose is this. Yes. Okay. So. Hug your knee to get a more of a stretch through your booty. And then feel free to leave your hand back there. That's how the pose is actually supposed to be. But if it kind of, if you've been on your hands a lot lately, it might be nice to just hang on and help your other hand pull that leg closer in. Good. All righty. Make your way up nice and gently. Don't rush up. Ooh. So nice. All right, big leg, any leg. Take it behind you, inhale the same arm up. And exhale. Nice work, guys. I hope you had fun. And I look forward to seeing you. Um, that's all I got for you.